Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I am going to be doing your July 1st to the 15th, 2019, that's 2019, finance and career reading for you. Now I ask that you give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so much, whether you are new or old to this channel, for all your support. I absolutely adore reading for you. So thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it will be the very first comment in the comment box below. You will also have links to the cards that I use there. So let's see now Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what July 1st to the 15th, 2019 has in store for you for your finances and career. July 1st to the 15th, 2019, Aquarius, finance and career. July 1st to the 15th, 2019, Aquarius, finance and career. July 1st to the 15th, Aquarius, 2019, finance and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that's where the cards fell, and that's where Spirit wants me to stop. Now we have the Six of Cups right here. And when the Six of Cups shows up, and it has been showing up a lot in people's readings for the first part of July, and what I see here is this is the past, okay? This is somebody having spoken negativity over you, okay? This is somebody who has hurt you. And this is a scar that you have carried. Now, what I'm hearing from spirit is that no more. I mean, they're saying that you have been chained to something. Something has been keeping you back. And for a lot of you, I see this around the gambles that you will take with finance and career, kind of what you deserve, what you, okay, not what you deserve, what you, your beliefs of what you deserve to achieve or what you can achieve. There is someone who has spoken negativity over you, who has it's almost as if it's not a curse because I don't want to say curse. I don't, I don't believe in curses really, but there's a sense that this negativity has scarred you within your heart, your soul, and yourself. And now you're healing from it. Now you're kind of lifting that curse and it can be a generational curse. Okay. Because this is from childhood and it can be that you inherited a generational curse. And, and that I do kind of that I do believe in. It's some, it's like the sins of the father are passed on to the child. So here, this is you healing. This is you gaining your power. This is you remembering what it is that you wanted to be when you were small and anything was possible. And now you're moving forward. You're walking away. Yeah, you're walking away from this negativity. You really are. You're walking away from something that you once thought you would love, which was here. And it was I do see this as something generational, okay? And you're saying, you know what, no more. It's kind of like you're divorcing it and you're setting yourself free. Pay attention to the details. When it comes to your finances, when it comes to your money, all right? Here, your, your heart is with love. It's with the cups. You're crowned with love and you're crowned with a healing, okay? To embrace what it is that you truly love. And this is you creating something that brings joy, prosperity, and a bounty into your life. And it's creating the future that you want that brings this joy, bounty, and beauty into your life. The money will come and it's coming. It might take a while for it to grow and build the way that you want it to, but it is most definitely coming as you've set yourself free. Okay. Be aware here, especially here, there's somebody who doesn't want you to succeed. Somebody who doesn't want you to break this. Okay. Doesn't want you to either break this generational curse. Okay. Or doesn't want you to break the negativity that was spoken over you okay and now you are moving forward from this person you have to you have the divine guiding you here and <laughs> excuse me with the repeat of number three and the fact that these threes are so different for me the three of cups is is somebody not wanting you to succeed somebody that you had loved okay or that really yeah that had an impact all right that has an impact on you not wanting you to achieve this is a betrayal this is a hurt and then with the three of pentacles this is really saying you're grounded in prosperity right here and you're cultivating this prosperity but as you're doing so as you're embracing your divine path divinity is throwing one more curveball in your way and saying are you sure are you sure that you're not going to go back here are you sure that you're free your root is absolutely you're hearing the call of what your soul wants. And this was in your 
the judgment card was in your July 1st to the 10th general reading. So hearing the divine call, hearing and answering this divine call is part of your first half of July. I mean, first 10 days of July, first half of July, this is what roots you. It was before what crowns you. So here, you're really moving forward in this truth. And you have this tower, you're setting yourself free. You are setting yourself free as you answer this call. And this person, now it can be, again, it can be generational. It can be kind of spiritual. This person kind of, that was supposed to be looking out for you, kind of protecting you spiritually, just isn't. So here, you're, you're setting yourself free. The tower is everything crumbles falling apart, losing it all in order to gain it. And this is you being set free. And then you have the Hierophant, which I love. This represents a Taurus energy, okay? This is the time frame of April 20th to May 20th. But this is your traditions, your truth, your prosperity, your success, your bounty. This, when I see it, makes me think of the quote by Picasso. He said, my mother said that if I were to be a priest, I would become Pope. If I were to be a soldier, I would become a general. But I became an artist, and I became Picasso. This is saying greatness awaits you. You just have to go after it. Okay? And I'm not saying that you're going to be Picasso. All right? I'm not saying that people are going to know your name long after you are gone. What I am saying is that you will live your truth here on this earthly plane. And that is something astounding. Your clarifying cards. I love it. You walk away. This is my divorce card. This is my marriage card. This is another marriage card. All right. So for some of you, you, you are divorcing this and you are, you're ending. You have a severe ending coming and you have the Hierophant and the Four of Wands saying, this is going to be a celebration akin to a marriage. It's just going to be like, yes, I did it. I made it. I'm moving forward. New job opportunities. Okay. Water sign energy, you also had this in your, the water sign energy in your first to the 10th reading, all right? This could be the person who here in this reading, in your finances, in your career, it's not the same person. This could be the person who was giving you trouble, all right? Here, it is the person who helps you. This, there's water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. See if that appears within your chart, your natal chart. Also, this Taurus right here. But here, it is something, something here, someone here that has been messing with your emotions. Because this right here, this triangle that goes this way, faces downward, this is a triangle of emotions. Here, emotions and prosperity. This is a person who you are setting yourself free from, okay? But also who loves you and is going to bring you success. Now, I see this as different people. For some of you, it might actually be the same person. There's just a sense of, you know, kind of healing and needing to move forward. But this is celebration. There's a water sign energy, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, who is extraordinary within your life and is really going to move you forward. Or there's somebody who is really talking to your soul, who is going to help you move to the place that you want to be and to the place that you need to be. And this is most likely a Pisces, okay? Because we have the moon card here. This represents a Pisces. This is a time frame of February 19th to March 20th, right? For some of you, the tower, the, the Hierophant, all right? You could be having trouble with a Taurus energy, okay, walking away from it. But for a lot of you, this is, but if you are walking away from a Taurus energy, you are walking towards your truth. This is spectacular. You are ending a generational curse, or you are coming to the conclusion. You are coming to the healing of a generational curse, okay? It's not going to be that once these 15 days are over, you are all of a sudden free and you will be prosperous beyond belief. It is saying here that you will feel a lot more free or you will feel as if you are heading towards the direction of truly embracing what it is that you want, truly embracing the mysteries that lay before you and having a celebration akin to a wedding. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aquarius, July 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. Confidence. And meditation. You need to take time to tune into you, Aquarius. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, Aquarius. July 1st to the 15th, 2019. Financing career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. 
wellness, okay? Make sure you take care of yourself because you're going through a healing. You're going, yeah. And euphoria, it's bringing you such joy. Wellness. A healthy body, mind, and spirit thrive with a constant flow of balanced energy. And that's what you're doing. You are balancing the energy, which you're going to see leads to your prosperity coming in. Leads to you healing and really moving forward in your truth. The color that's shining through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing the sacral chakra, which is where a lot of negativity from this life and past lives are held. Very important. Because, because as you heal that sacral chakra, and it needs constant work. Because, you know, life kind of just, yeah, that's what it is. It's like, it's just hard. And it brings up lessons from past lives or, you know, scars from past lives that you don't even know about. And it brings up scars in this life that you don't even want. And so constantly making sure that you check in with your sacral chakra, that you keep a balanced flow of energy and you keep yourself harmonized, that's going to be so beautiful for you. Then we have euphoria. Euphoria is a cosmic connection to the magic within and around you. You are connecting to divine magic. You are connecting to divinity. You are hearing the call of your divine path. And you are moving forward in that truth. Confidence. Confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep going and the self-assurance to get you there. Be confident. Embrace your strength. Embrace your prosperity. Because there is something here that has been holding you back. It can be something that you heard you know, your parents fighting when you were younger, you know, you can't open that business, it's not safe, you need to stay where it is that you are, you know, kind of thing. And so you've been afraid to go after your dreams. It can also be, you know, having money problems when you were growing up, all right? And now that's made you want to hold on to the money and say, okay, I have to just make sure that everything is safe first. And I can't go after what it is that I truly want because that's not bringing the security that I need. Have confidence when you're in yourself to achieve what it is that you truly want. And that could be a scenario, I'm just saying random scenarios. That could be, you know, for a few of you that you went through that. But it's things like that. It's things that have kept you small in a box. And it's also this generational curse. It's kind of like negativity being spoken over you and now you are releasing it. Now you are letting yourself go and be free. Meditation, you need to check in with you, Aquarius. Meditation will bring you clarity of mind and a sense of inner peace. So make sure you take time to meditate. It could be going for a walk. I love my meditations to be walks with my dogs. You know, it's just a sense of embracing your truth and your prosperity, your inner self. This I'm seeing, and I know it sounds odd, but I'm seeing it as a generational curse that has kept you. And I know I said that I don't believe in curses. I don't believe... Yeah, no, but this is kind of like, it doesn't have to be exactly the sins of the father passed on. It can be, you know, the sins of the mother, but it's not exactly sins, but it's the negativity that has been within a family, okay? And it's something that you inherited. Now, it can also be a karmic debt that's coming into play, but I see it more as generational. I see it more as coming from somebody, at a parent, because that would be where it comes from, a grandparent, you know, something like that. And then it's been coupled with the negativity that people have spoken over you just through life. Oh, no, you couldn't possibly do that. Oh, no, you have to do this. You know, that kind of negativity that has shaped you and has kept you from going after what it is that you truly want and has kept you from the confidence that really lives within you. And now you're walking away from it. This is an ending. This is my divorce card. Okay, this is my it's done. It's over. Now you're moving forward. Now it will take healing. It will not be that by the end of these 15 days, you are on a path to absolute CEO greatness, all right? Because it could be that a lot of you don't even want that. But this is saying that you walk away, you have this ending that brings a beginning of happiness, that brings a beginning of success, new job opportunities, okay, <sighs> moving house. It's just a success that is akin to that is akin to a wedding, just something that you will celebrate. But you need to pay attention to the details. You also need to pay attention to what you love and what you want. As you do so, you're going to find that you're setting yourself free. Money is a focus, yes, and money is something that you need to guard. Like, don't be foolish with your money. But it's also saying here that as you are guarding your prosperity, it starts to come. As you're doing what it is that you love, 
as you're doing something that brings you joy and happiness, security of self, alignment of your soul, something that you were born, a way that you were born to move forward, okay, you start to embrace what it is that you want, the place that you want to be. It's not looking above for the prosperity in your life. And why I say that is because in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is three men. It's really one man building the cathedral or working on the cathedral. I see it as a cathedral, it could be a palace. But it's one man working and three men, like two men kind of supervising or giving, telling him what to do. So he puts the pentacles up above. They're to be worshiped. Here, they're not worshiped. They're kind of like a coaster and she has her foot over the other ones. They're secure, but they're not worshiped. They're part of the earth, as is your prosperity. It's part of the earth. It's part of your soul and yourself. You're growing it. You're understanding it, and you're being nourished towards your confidence and your competence. Wisdom is guiding you. There's going to be a last bit of nastiness. It may come from this Pisces energy here, but I'm really seeing it as somebody who is making you face your fears, who says all the words that you don't want to hear, okay? Or it can be a memory of this. It's just like, oh yeah, you think you can succeed? You think you can move forward? You think you can break away from an impoverished mindset to something great? You have no right. Yeah, you do have a right. Aquarius, you have every right in the whole entire world. Do not listen. This is like the final test because here you have a hearing the call of the divine, the divine call that leads you forward, that leads you to the greatness that you want, that really speaks to your heart and I love that you have the tower card here the tower card is not a bad card it is everything falling apart yes it is being shaken out of this tower and it is everything changing in the Rider Waite Smith deck this is I believe it's two people falling from falling from the tower okay that's been hit by lightning it's just falling down and it's the uh, it's the divine guiding it all so here it is you guided by your truth. Here it's, it's an awakening, okay? Nobody changes their life if they're simply comfortable. It's like being in lukewarm bath water. It's not cold enough that you turn on the tap to make your bath cold. And it's not hot enough that you feel uncomfortable within it, okay? It's like, yeah, it's okay. I can stay here. I mean, that's, that's what I see with the tower. I know that sounds really funny, but it's like, yeah, it's okay. And then the tower comes and it smacks you upside the head and it forces you to act. It forces you to either cool down the bath water or make it warmer. I know that's a really funny way of describing things, but it forces you to act because eh, it's not okay anymore. Chaos of emotion, yes. Yes. But that chaos of emotion leads to you looking at betrayals, and it can be from, and it's from this, this past. It's from people who spoke negatively over you. This all has to do with emotion here that has kept you back. And then you claim your power, you claim your truth. It's like you become, it's like a Pisces energy, but here I'm actually going to take that out of this, of this reading, okay, the Pisces right here, right now, because everything changes. You have to face nasty truths that you would rather not. And it can be that somebody says something and you're like, wow, thanks. You know, or it can be that you remember something and you think, wow, mind, you know, I don't need that right now. But now you become the queen of your emotions. You become the person who acts from behind the scenes, but who knows your path and your truth. You face your fears and you move forward in courage, wisdom, and prosperity. The hermit, not the hermit, the hierophant. The hierophant says you claim your power. The hierophant says this is your prosperity, your abundance, and your greatness. You stand before, no, you sit upon the throne, and you stand above the keys of heaven. That's what Spirit is saying. That's within the Rider Waite Smith deck. That's what you are doing. You're standing, sitting, I can't remember. I believe he sits, the Pope, the depiction of the Pope. And the Pope, in medieval times, he was the King of Kings which I know sounds blasphemous because they were all Christian and the King of Kings is supposed to be Jesus, but it is a little bit, <laughs> the Pope was a little bit. Um, but this is very much saying that 
the Pope could tell kings what to do. All right? So here you are embracing that power and that truth. To be able to dictate to kings. To be able to know that no one stands above you. It's that Kipling poem. If you can walk with kings and keep your virtue and talk with men... What is it? If you can walk with kings and keep your virtue and talk with men, don't lose the common touch. If neither foe nor loving friend can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. That's it right here. Celebration, greatness, prosperity. It's finding your truth. It is moving forward in a power that most people never obtain. And even if you get a fraction of it, a fraction of greatness is still greatness. Your clarifying cards. The Four of Wands. Love, joy, prosperity, celebration, new job opportunities, moving house, moving through the archway of your existence to a place of celebration. This is a celebration akin to a wedding. And it's amplified with the Hierophant, which is the wedding card in the Major Arcana. This is that celebration. This is being married to what you love. All right? Whether it's a side project, whether it's your full-time career, it brings prosperity. This has to do with your career, bringing prosperity. You're embracing what it is that you love. You're embracing your way of moving forward. You're healing. You're facing fears. You're moving forward in courage and in wisdom. Artemis, the goddess, the goddess of the hunt in Greek mythology. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, represented by the owl. Okay, you are moving forward in your truth. You are seeing within the darkness. That's also what the owl represents. And you are having a spotlight put into the darkness to shine light where once there was fear. Your subconscious message is the lover's card. This is a Gemini presence, okay? So this is a time frame that we just came out of, May 21st to June 20th. This is embracing what you love. Subconsciously, you are moving towards what it is that you love. The angels are blessing you. You're going through a transformation. You're having a duality of spirit, Aquarius. All right? So you know your mind. You know what it is that you want. But you're going to see that you're finding what fits for you. You're asking questions. You're astoundingly curious. You are really embracing your soul and yourself. All right? But as you do so, know that you will feel kind of as if you're being pulled in two different directions. You want two different things or more. It's kind of like there's so much that you want to do subconsciously within your soul, within yourself, so much that you want to get done. And yet you, you might feel as if, oh my gosh, I'm not doing everything enough, but you are. This also warns against flitzing, flitzing, going kind of like being a bee, going from flower to flower to flower and flower. Okay. Make sure you, you finish your tasks. Be like that bee that, well, bees work really hard. So that's kind of a bad example that people use, but yeah, it's kind of like jumping from one thing to another to another and not really settling on anything, not really knowing a truth, just kind of, you know, flitzing, being like a butterfly, flowing on the wind. Go after what it is that you want. Go after what it is that you love. Love is your subconscious guide. You can also have a strong connection to a Gemini or a Gemini can be within your natal chart and you're seeing where that shows up to see what it is that you truly want and where it is that you truly want to be. Now, there's a duality of personality here, but there is a blessing that is coming and a love that is guiding you forward. All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. This has been another, your, your first reading was your, well, not your first, but your July 1st to the 10th general reading was just so pleasant to bring to you. And now this reading, your July 1st to the 15th, was another absolutely joyous one to bring to you. So I'm so glad to have been able to be the vessel for this message from Spirit. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. I love that you have shared this time with me. Thank you so much. Again, I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome. Bye.